very short because, well, I had to go somewhere and I wasn't gonna wait. Me. You know it's me from the bad. No one cares. Hey, Charles. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm -hmm. Whiskey do? No. It has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. I think I got some moonshine, do I? Yeah, I do. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Didn't we already do Leopold Stra- Oh yeah, because that's that one guy. We should go to him first. As a matter of fact, he's Robert Downs. Then we'll go to Mary Lynn, and then we'll go to him. Ah, Miss Morgan. You seem chipper. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Maybe okay. he'll whatever. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Come on, Mustang, let's go. <coughs> oh yeah, guys, remember, if you like the stream, make sure you give it a thumbs up, because that would surely make it better. Alright, Lenny, we'll see you later, buddy. We don't have a lot of money. We don't got time to investigate people, but we will take the tobacco, but we ain't taking you though, we ain't taking you. Fuck him. His head fell off. I'm not sure why you would eat tobacco, that doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't know, maybe it's a different tobacco, so who knows. If I remember correctly That's from when I first played it, we should be close yep. to chapter 3. Which is one of my favorite chapters, in my opinion. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride.
Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... You really? tried to hit us with a rake? Certainly, would you? Oh, please, I have a family, sir, please. I don't care about your family. Uh, I'm working. <coughs> Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me. Don't care. Believe me, sir. Your dad's caught you, mister. And it ain't letting go. Please. Please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him. You took the money. He wants it back. What's not to understand? <laughs> That'll come into play later. Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. Sell your wife. Sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more. Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us Get some, some money. money. All right, Mustang, let's go, buddy. Now, for any of those who don't know what I was talking about, clearly what I meant, like, when that comes into play later, Arthur gets tuberculosis, basically. And tuberculosis, it's a progressive disease that starts inside your lungs and will kill you over time and years. Basically what tuberculosis is. Fun fact. And it won't affect him until later in the game, in, like, chapters 5 and 6. Actually, chapter six. Back already. Mm-hmm. Dude lives across the street, basically. Hey, John. You seem better. Yeah, almost feel normal again. Everything okay, Miss Grimshaw? Yeah. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead, and they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. I love how he's German, but he's from Australia. <gasps> it's Jack. Come here, little fuck. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> you know what? I think Arthur could use a new attire, so let's go to Valentine. And you know what? We're gonna take Teddy too, cause Teddy, Teddy's gonna be a good horse today. Cause to be fair, I love, I mean, I love riding Teddy. Teddy, how you doing, buddy? I also want to see what level I am with Teddy, cause I think I'm like level three or something. Or bonding That's level two. Yeah, this Now we check. Level two. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Where are you going, Teddy?
you saying? We're gonna spice up Arthur's um, attire. We're gonna give him a new vest Come on in. and some new boots, around. cause that's all I could really afford. Some of the fellers who play poker down at Flat Neck Station said they had some clergyman in, drunk out of his mind. I don't know what the fuck that means. No, that's not the vest I want. I think it's this one. Yes, this one. Howdy. I was in here last time. Good morning, Miss Town. Hey, you're welcome here. Alright, I'm welcome here. Thank you. Well, that just looks stupid. We're gonna sweep it back. No, actually, that looks stupid too. Yeah, we're gonna put it to the left. Looks pretty good. Morning, mister. Okay. Guess we're about through here. Thank yes, you. we are. Time to go to Mary. Hello there. Here we go. You look out. There, boy. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you.
Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? You know, unfortunately, Mary, it's all this shit that you Please, put him through. Or... Nope. Sorry, can't help you. I'm sorry, Mary. I like Jamie. But you and me, after all that's happened, you're gonna have to find someone else to run your errands. Okay. Hello, viewer. Arthur, I miss you. I miss you too. Yeah, but you all ain't never gonna get back together. Take care of yourself. Don't tell him to do that. He's gonna die of sure. tuberculosis. Boy. Now it's time to go to Hosea. Which is so fucking far away. Shouldn't have been standing there, Piggy. Drunkard? You been kicked in the head or something? Yeah, I have. Mister?
That was disgusting. I didn't think the legs could come off. You know, his gate all you want, but it wasn't me. James? Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people. And I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage.
Just really? get on the horse. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. <laughs> Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Yeah. I wasn't even paying attention. I was Come looking on. at my phone. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Bunch of rednecks. Here's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a I quick see a redneck. Case. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can. Then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? We should go in night because then we get to rob the dude. Just wait. We're gonna skip this. There's no special about this. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. No. Sure do I have any apples on me? I don't actually have anything. What the fuck is he doing? Why is he putting that down? Okay, well, that's down. What?
This is uh, very kind of you. I'm gonna want to do that again because I don't know what happened, but. We're gonna die together, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fucking brutal. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened, but we're gonna do that again. See, it's Batman. I am Batman. I'm the Batman of the night. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. No. Make sure it's all quiet. We're going to take everything because that's an achievement. Well, not an achievement in a game, but... Take a carrot. Take an apple. He would hear this. Here, we're gonna make him think he's retarded when he left his drawers open. Time to go stick this knife in the guy's ass. That's a big fucking chimney. This guy also retarded thinking he left this thing open. Now where's the money? Ain't got no money, mister. Somehow I don't believe you. Where is it? It's in my chest. His voice changed. That was weird. Back to sleep, bitch. He doesn't like his cousins, or we're gonna kill him. This one gets a tomahawk. He 
he's dead. There's a chest right here. I didn't even do that. Come on, get on and let's head back. Come on, Teddy. <laughs> clean and simple. Okay. Probably best we don't relay that news to Sheamus. Yeah, someone else killed him. <laughs> Is your fucking horse following us? You don't slow down. Shut up. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. We're gonna get rich off of this shit. Anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. Hey, slow it down. No. Nope. I'm the driver, okay? When you're the driver, you can make the choices. And as usual, he did not flinch. Take it easy, Arthur. Nope. Stick around here for not sure till we can't, I suppose. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine, nice people. They're <clears throat> dead. Park that thing in here quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. Mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you liked it. Make sure you tell me. If you didn't like it, leave a bad comment. Do whatever you want. But, um, yeah, that's it for today. Um, tomorrow's not going to be a Red Dead Redemption video. Tomorrow might be a Kill Everyone Challenge or just a Hitman video for fun. Either or is going to work, but if you guys liked it, my name has been Darren. And, goodbye.